What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple released iOS 15.4 Beta 5 to registered developers exactly one week after the release of Beta 4. And for public beta testers, you guys should be seeing this update within the next 24 hours. And in addition to this iOS release, we also got iPadOS 15.4 Beta 5, tvOS 15.4 Beta 5, HomePodOS 15.4 Beta 5, WatchOS 8.5 Beta 5, and macOS Monterey 12.3. Beta 5. That's a lot of fives. But of course, in this video, we're talking all about iOS and iPad OS and what's new in the software, along with when to expect the next beta, which should be the RC build, and of course, eventually the final release. We're also going to discuss the upcoming Apple event and if that's even happening anymore or not. All right, so let's start off with the size of this update. So you can see here, Beta 5 came in at 471.5 megabytes on my iPhone 13 Pro Max. It should be under 500 megabytes for most devices. This is a very small update. Of course, as a beta five, you don't expect too many things to be changed in the software. But if you check out the build number for this update, let's go to our settings general about 15.4. We can see the new build number here is 19E5241A. So we have back-to-back -back builds with an A at the end of the build number, which indicates we most likely have the RC coming next. So if we go down, to the modem firmware, you can see that is unchanged. It remains at 1.59.03. All right, so now what's new here in 15.4 beta five? So first off, unlike the last beta, I did not get a prompt to update over cellular for this update. So if you guys did get that prompt, or if you did download this update over cellular, not over 5G, if you downloaded it over cellular, let me know in a comment below. I wanna make sure that this feature was not removed with this beta because I got that prompt for the past two betas. And then something else that was sent to me over on Twitter is if we go to our settings, general about, and then down to the limited warranty and tap on that, you will see that we now have this little section for an app card for the Apple support application. So you can see here on the left is 15.3.1 and it says get repair or support, which it doesn't say on 15.4. And then it just says get Apple support application and it takes you to the app store. Whereas 15.4 shows a little app card right here and a get button where you could just simply tap on that and it will download the application. And then also that sentence right below the app card right there is new as well. You can see that was not there on 15.3.1. Now we also see code for Apple adding a sort by release date for the Apple Music application, but nothing is showing here for me and beta five. This is something I'm looking forward to, to go into playlist right here and under sort, maybe if we have sort by release date right there, or more importantly, what I would like to see is if we go into an actual playlist to be able to sort every song in here by the release date would be nice, but I don't see anything in here for 15.4 beta five. I don't see anything changed with that, which hopefully we see that in the final release or maybe in a later version. Also in beta four, we did get a new Siri voice. So if we go to our settings, Siri and search, and then Siri voice, we do have the voice five under American, which is a brand new voice for Siri. Now, speaking of Siri, we also have a new response when you ask Siri what's going to be announced at the next Apple event. So watch what she says now. What's gonna be announced at the next Apple event? And you can see here it says, you can't hurry news. No, you'll just have to wait. So that is a new prompt, it seems, when you ask Siri what's coming at the next Apple event, which of course should be relatively soon. At least we hope so. But aside from that, there's really nothing else going on here with beta five. I mean, it is a fifth beta. It is another A build, so back-to-back -back A builds, which means Apple is really focusing more on the stability, the performance, the battery life instead of the features. So that is just one thing to keep in mind. Now, something to kind of contradict that is if we go to the release notes for this fifth beta, you will notice that there are no resolved issues in the release notes, just a few known issues, which is pretty strange because pretty much every beta has had resolved issues except for this fifth beta. Now, luckily, none of the bugs are anything too major, nothing that's going to like break your phone or make you wish you didn't update but it is still pretty interesting to see no resolved issues on a fifth beta. But if you were having issues with things like reminders, those should be fixed. They should be syncing properly now. If you had issues with the LTE and 5G just flickering back and forth up here in the status bar, that should also be fixed. Also, if you had issues with the music application, just overall, just lag in general, that should be resolved here in beta five. As long as you're not using AirPlay, AirPlay is still 
you know, trash. It's still really bad, very slow, very laggy. But if you had issues aside from AirPlay and the music application, those should be solved here in beta five as well. Now, as far as remaining bugs go, again, I did mention the AirPlay to HomePod is still buggy, but if you go into the release notes right here, you will see most of the issues are related to home. You can see we have one, two, three, four known issues with the home application. We have some issues with iTunes and issue. The known issue with messages is still there where it says a conversation transcript won't scroll after viewing a photo and quick look. So that seems like it would be an easy fix, but for whatever reason, that is still a known issue here in beta five. And then we still have that known issue with emergency SOS where the call with five presses is disabled and just some other small ones down here. So still some bugs to be fixed. And I would assume that those would be fixed by the time the final rolls out. Not all of them, but I would expect most of them to be fixed by the time the RC or the final gets released. And then I hate talking about this, but also the storage bug should be fixed here in beta five. I feel like I say that every single beta and it's still not fixed for some people, but for the majority of people, it is fixed. I've seen a big downtick in the amount of people, the amount of responses on my videos of people saying they have issues with the storage. But again, if you're still having that issue, you may just want to restore your device and you know back up your data and restore it. And that should be fixed because it's fixed for most people. Now, as far as the performance goes, performance feels good so far. I can't imagine it's going to be much different from beta four, given that both have an A at the end of the build number and things were already running pretty well on beta four. So I don't imagine a big change in performance here. I did run a Geekbench test. You can see the scores right here. Pretty solid. Of course, it was right after installing, so I will run another one this weekend to see if those scores do increase, but pretty solid scores. Again, you're probably not going to notice any difference at all going from beta four to beta five in terms of performance, unless you just had bugs that were fixed in this update. And then as far as the battery life goes, I would also expect battery life to remain the same here in beta five as it was in beta four, because beta four was pretty solid. So I'd expect that to remain solid and about the same in this build. But of course, if anything changes, I will let you guys know in my follow-up video on Saturday. I will also test out the connectivity. So 5G and LTE connectivity. I will test that out to see if it's just as good as it was in beta four, because it was definitely better than 15.3.1 for me. All right. So now let's talk about what is next for Apple. So let's first discuss the long rumored March 8th Apple event, because that also plays a big role in the release of the software. Since I do think Apple is going to talk about it during this event, even if it's just very briefly, I think they're going to mention it because of the face ID with a mask feature. So we've been hearing rumors from very credible sources that Apple is going to have an event on March 8th. And when Apple does have an event, they usually send out invites a week prior. Well, this week is that week prior to the event if it is going to be on the 8th. So we should have been seeing invites today, but it's still possible to get those invites on Wednesday or Thursday. But with that being said, due to everything going on in the world right now with Russia and Ukraine and everything like that, it is possible that Apple decided to push this event back by a week because some people could see that as distasteful for Apple to push out an event trying to sell products in a time like this. So I could see Apple delaying this by a week because of that. Now, if that is the case, then we should see the RC next week along with the event invites and then the final on the week of the 14th. So if that event got pushed back to the 15th, we should see the final release of 15.4 around that same time, either on that day or just a couple of days after. But of course, if Apple is just late to send out those invites and the event is still on for the 8th, we can expect the RC after the event and the final shortly after, like we talked about previously, but Apple is always unpredictable. So make sure you guys follow me on Twitter for more up to date news on release dates and just overall things related to Apple that I don't really share immediately here on YouTube. So there you have it. That is iOS 15.4 beta five, a relatively small update with a big focus on stability before pushing out the final release either next week or the following week. Of course, we'll have to wait and see on that. But if you guys enjoyed this video, as always, I would appreciate if you give it a thumbs up. And of course, make sure to subscribe for a lot more iOS 15 coverage. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.